Yeah. People are like, what the hell is yeah, that? Is that even a watch? And I'm like, did you spend money on that? Spinning. <laughs> Hello, welcome to Swiss Watch and welcome to another very special interview. Today we're here in Milan with my good friend Giacomo Corvo. How so good you, to see you, man. Good to see you, man. So you are basically the owner of GMT Italy here, a beautiful shop in Milano, a good collector and also a friend we met, I think, in Dubai for the first oh, yeah. time years ago. So. Dubai Watch Week. Yes, so thank you for having us. Oh, it's a pleasure. Thanks for coming. It was a really quick ride from Zurich. Huh? So tell us, where are we? What do you do? Why do you love watches? What's, what's your thing? Oh. Well, we are in our Corvo Company headquarters. The Corvo Company exists since uh, 1957 mm -hmm. and uh, distributes watch brands, watch and jewelry brands on the Italian market since then. Yeah. So at the beginning, uh, my grandfather was taking care of uh, Audemars Piguet, Vachon Constantin and Jäger Le Coultre for uh, the northern part of Italy. And then he had to choose uh, one among the three brands to distribute for the whole Italian market. And uh, he chose Jäger. Yeah. Why he chose Jaeger? Because it was the only real manufacturer among the three and was supplying to the other two brands. Jaeger back then was completely different from what it is today. And uh, he managed to resurrect in 1972 the Reverso. By convincing them, it took more than one year. And uh, finally, they uh, allowed him to case the watches in Milan and to sell them. Imagine that it was full quartz crisis and his turnover per year was about 200 watches. Wow, okay? so it's, it's safe to say that if your grandfather wasn't there, the reverse wouldn't be here today, huh? Maybe they would have We're resurrected in this, it uh, in yeah. the 90s, in 2000s, I have no idea. I mean, yeah. nobody knows, but he did it in 1972. Very cool. And that's why I brought this as my first watch. Yeah. Uh, this is one among the 200 reversos that my grandfather resurrected and reproduced in 1972 with original uh, case and original dials from the 30s and he managed to sell them in Milan in two months. Wow. So he did the turnover of one year in two months. Of course <laughs> at Jaeger they were shocked yeah. <laughs> pleased <laughs> about what was happening in Italy and uh, and they finally got convinced that uh, they should have made it uh, He's again. the guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Also. yeah, yeah. Beautiful. I've never yeah, so. seen it with uh, stick hands like these as well. Huh? Yeah, but this Very is exactly cool. from, the, from the 30s. Beautiful. And yeah. in mint condition, huh? Very cool. I rarely use it, it's too small for me. Yeah, yeah of course, of course. <laughs> but it's a piece of history and uh, my father got it when he was 18 and I got it when I was 18, so... Ah, very cool. You know, it's... Uh, <laughs> it's a legacy time piece. Yeah, of it's the first, the first important watch I've ever had in my life. Of course, yeah. No, awesome. I mostly know you for independent watchmaking. Yeah. So today you also work with these brands, you distribute them. So which, which brands do you work with currently? So, um, end of 90s, beginning 2000s, Richmond acquires uh, Jaeger. Mm -hmm. And in 2003, they wanted to absorb the Corvo company to make it the Italian subsidiary of Jaeger Le Coultre. Okay. My father says no, and the dream with Jaeger like vanishes after oh, no. more than 40 years. Uh, but he met uh, young Francois Paul Journ, in Basel World when he first presented uh, his uh, Suscription Tourbillon. And uh, the first person that he calls when he finally can work with other brands because he had a close of uh, non-competitivity with, uh, with Jaeger. So that's the second watch. Wow. This is the first watch that my father acquires when uh, he starts to work with FP. It's the first contract that he signs after Jaeger. Only distribution, we didn't have stores back then. So you were with uh, FP Journal from the very beginning? 20 yes, years. Wow. Yeah. This is an Octaloon. It's very particular because uh, it has the new dial, so it's not anymore like, you know, those materic mm. grainy dials from the beginning. Uh, you can see that it's already second generation, but the movement is still in brass. Yeah. So it's kind of in between the first June and the second June. So FP June is the, the first brand that comes on board after Jaeger. Then there was uh, Chanel, Porsche Design, Harry Winston led by Max Busser back then, mm. uh, then Urwerk, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And then in 2007, we opened our first uh, retail store. Yeah. So we are no longer only distributors, but we do also B2C. So we, we, we finally talk also to the collectors. Mm -hmm. We found that need because we realized that Italian retailers, traditional ones, they were not exactly in line with this part of watchmaking, which was 
less commercial, less numbers, less demand, etc., etc., etc. So we started to see discounts. We started to see that the watches were not properly explained. So that's why we started to do our own retail as well. And that's when we started to work with MBNF. Also in the beginning, basically. Yeah? Also in the beginning, yeah, it was 2007. So wow. <laughs> I think 2008, nice. we got our first HM1s. Very cool. So that's why <laughs> this is the watch I got from Max, not as a gift, eh? yeah. just to wear when I moved to Dubai and uh, um, I was working at Sadiqi and I was taking care of MBNF as a brand and the mm. Met Galleries there. And then when I left Sadiqi, I purchased it because yeah. it's, uh, I'm, I'm a sucker for, uh, for first series. And this was the first LM1, so it's uh, oh, it's, dope. it's absolutely I one remember, of my uh, one of I remember I remember you by this watch because when we met in Dubai, you were wearing this watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It so was it's love it. Dubai Watch Week 2015. I think the second one, yeah, yeah, yeah. 2015. Yeah. Plus the Mad Gallery as well. I visited you there, so yeah. very cool with the Vail, I think. <laughs> yes, correct. Name, huh? correct. Very cool. So MBNF is a brand which you sell pretty successfully as well, right? Absolutely, And you yeah. opened up the Italian market, basically. We did, but uh, we never did the distribution with MBNF, okay. only in GMT, as only in our, retail partner. in our boutiques, yeah. Very cool. This is a watch I have as well, but not exactly this version. Yeah, so... I have a red one. So. Talking about Max <laughs> Busser, last year, the Corvo family and Max celebrated 30 years of friendship wow. because uh, in 1992, Max joined Jaeger mm -hmm. as a young project manager and he met my father, my grandfather and Stefano who works with us since back then. Yeah. A couple of years before, I think it was end of 2020, I find an old picture uh, with uh, Max that was probably like 22, 23 years old, my father, my grandfather and some people from the Italian market. And uh, I contact Max and I'm like, uh, Max, you know that next year is going to be 30 years that you work with my family. And he's like, no, I feel oh, so old, yeah. but we have to do something. So it was impossible to create an MBNF watch mm. uh, because of the low production and the fact that he was already opening few MBNF labs and med galleries. So the production was really, really packed. So we thought we should create um, a watch <laughs> that was uh, initially <laughs> made for friends by Max Busser. Yeah. So this was the, the perfect fit. Yeah, of course. So we created 30 pieces to celebrate 30 years that we gave to our friends and longtime mm -hmm. customers. Um, it's basically a med one, but we used colors uh, that we will use again in other series, which are four and gold, mm -hmm. which is a nuance of gold that nobody uses yeah. because it's in between yellow, which is 3N, and red, which is 5N. It's a kind of champagne-ish. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then the green, uh, which is Milano green, guys. It's not British green. Okay, remember <laughs> Just, that. Uh, remember that. Just remember that. <laughs> <laughs> so I think the color combination went. Yeah, uh, it's very cool. So it's pretty it's nice. Very cool. no? And again, very easy to get, of course. Uh. Yeah, of course. Just call me. <laughs> Nobody's waiting. Just call Marco. Yeah, just, just leave a comment down below. You know, we have a few to give out. <laughs> like, no. <laughs> no way. Uh, awesome, awesome. Yeah, I love wearing this, you know, because people don't know what it is. Of course. But if somebody sees it and knows what it is, it's They're like, like, oh, ah, man. you're my guy. Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> awesome. Or people are like, what the hell is yeah. that? Is that even a watch? And I'm like, <laughs> did you spend money on that? Like a fidget spinner. Exactly. Beautiful. What's the next one you want to jump in? So, uh, well, the one I have on my wrist. This is actually the first uh, important watch I bought with my money. Uh, I was still in Dubai and I asked uh, Urwerk uh, if they had uh, 103 Tarantula in white gold mm. because that yeah. was exactly the watch uh, I wanted. And they were like, no, you know, we don't have any more. It's sold out since many years, but we have a press piece. I have to ask Yasin and Felix if they want to sell it. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, if you need someone to push on the side, just <laughs> let me know. So things happened and I have to thank them for this. Uh, so this was a press piece that they used to use for shootings mm. and stuff. Nice and uh, they just uh, fixed the case, et cetera, and uh, sold it to me. So it's the first time that they open up all this, mm. uh, uh, all this part to show the whole carousel and, and how the watch turns. And uh, well, it's uh, good ah, it's memories. It's beautiful, it's yeah. beautiful. It's also one of the watches which helped save all of a kind. Of Absolutely, now. correct. Not correct. the, the, the well, one this of the series. Yeah, yeah, this is the second series. Yeah. So it, uh, this was launched, I think, in 2007 or 2008. But the 103 originally mm -hmm. was launched in 2003. Yeah. And it, you're absolutely right. It saved the company because yeah. they finally created a shape that uh, people started to understand and appreciate mm -hmm. and put on the wrist. Then took off from there. 
took off from ah, there. It's really cool piece. Right. I, they just celebrated 25 years old, huh? Yeah, exactly. exactly. They are not those younglings anymore. Yeah, it's an established <laughs> company already. Exactly. In the independent uh, world, basically. Correct. So what else do we have here? You brought so, some very cool pieces, huh? Yeah, yeah, very, very Dynamic, diverse. Yeah. Uh, you told me maximum 10. I, I brought eight, <laughs> but very different one from the other. I have to limit it because sometimes people just bring like boxes. I'm like, guys, this is not a two-hour hey, podcast. my collection. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we work with Resense since about 10 years, I think. Mm -hmm. And we met Benoit uh, during his first uh, fair in Geneva. Yeah. Uh, so I thought that there should have been a resense in here. This is a collaboration launched last year by Grail Watch, yeah. uh, by Waco with uh, Benoit Mintien, so resense yeah. together with Alain Silverstein, yes. whom I always loved. So it's a great combination. So it was a great combination. <laughs> I just could not not have it for myself. And uh, yeah, I love this watch. That's cool. Yeah, that's so cool. how do you read the time for people who never so saw this watch? You see, it's uh, flowers and skull clock. <laughs> <laughs> so no, just take is, a look at the phone. So, right? so the, the yellow petal is the hours, yeah. and uh, the big triangle um, in light blue is are the minutes. Uh, yeah. This is the the little counter with the with the uh, yellow indicator is the day of the week, and then you have the skull which just yeah. turns like seconds. Just seconds but it's just, uh, So the yellow line is, I assume, Sunday. Uh, correct, okay. yes. But then, for example, if you live in Saudi, you can use it as yeah, a Saturday. Yeah. Whatever you prefer. Yeah. The entry-level pieces are very affordable if you look at the other independents. Absolutely. And you can go higher end as well with some skeleton pieces or whatever. Absolutely. So this is a watch and a brand that people know from my channel? Uh, yeah, of course. Chaikin and Louis Erard. Yeah. How so, did you come to this? Well, we started to work this year with Louis Erard. So we are the agents for the Italian market with the Corvo company. And we started to work with our boutiques with them. I know Manuel Emsch since a few years. And um, uh, this is actually my third Louis Erard. It's the latest launch we did. We just did an event a few weeks ago with them in Milan. And uh, I thought uh, my latest acquisition would have been a good fit in this of bunch course. of weird, quirky <laughs> <laughs> watches we have here. It's a, it's a collab with Konstantin Chaikin, with whom we work as well. And I think this is just too cool. Everybody thought, oh, you know, Louis Rard and Chaikin are just going to do a collaboration. It's going to be a joker. Yeah, you know uh, what? Bam. <laughs> it kind of is, but it's not. <laughs> it kind of is, but it's not. <laughs> Again, I'm going to travel with this this summer. No, of course, of course. Just makes you a smile. That's it, you know? Absolutely. It's a good price point, good case size Crazy as well. Crazy price yeah. point. Yeah. Man. And the fact that they did two versions, 139, 142. Mm. I have the, the green one as well. Yeah. I'm a it's a chunkier. Uh, Johnny. <laughs> Big watch. <laughs> So last but definitely not least, yeah. I, I saw the Instagram post. Yeah, last but not least. Uh, so A well-deserved watch. <laughs> Congrats. Oh, that, that's, <laughs> thank you. Thank My you. opinion. Eh? Yeah, no, it's, uh, it's, it's a milestone. So I sold this watch in 2010 and uh, it had always been in my wildest dreams, you know, to, to put it on my wrist. And um, last year, uh, the customer whom he sold it to, great collector, um, he brought it for service. And, and you never just, gave it back. No, 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 we give it back, we give it back. Just a normal service. Eh? It was not service since, I don't know, seven, eight years. Yeah. And then when we were giving it back, we were like, you know, <clears throat> it's a just good, to it's throw a an good idea. good time to sell. <laughs> <laughs> if you will ever want to part with it, you know, you will find two good wrists, because it's me and my brother, it's not just me collecting. Yeah. Two good wrists that would really, really, really love to, you know, to carry this for a while. And he was like, no, 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 I'm never going to sell it. It's my vagabondage. You sold it to me 10 years, 12 years ago, et cetera, et cetera. After a few months, he calls us back and he's like, were you serious? I'm like, <laughs> yeah, we were. So here it is, Vagabondage 2 by FP Journe. It's a series that was born in 2005. At the beginning, it was just uh, meant for charity. So he created three pieces, Vagabondage 1, uh, one in red gold, one in uh, uh, yellow gold, and one in white gold. Mm -hmm that were bought by the same uh, collector. We all know who he is, but uh, maybe it's better not to say it. Yeah. Um, and because of the, of the success of the auction, he decided to create 69 more pieces in platinum. And then in 2010, he released the 69 pieces in platinum, Vagabondage 2, with a different complication, and 68 in red gold. And this is one of those 69. Oh, it's beautiful. It's uh, jumping hours, jumping minutes, super, Technical with the remontoir de galite in 45 minutes. Everything jumps minutes, the tenth of minutes, and then mm. the hours. Yeah. So it's instant jump. 
extremely complicated. It requires a lot of energy and uh, I think it's probably one of the most complicated jump powers in modern history. Yeah, for sure. Because there is a the Zeitwerk as well, but it's... Yeah, it's not like this, yeah. It's thicker, also it's much bigger, bigger, it's a little bit different, you know? Yeah, and there's also the Vagamudash 3, right? Vagamudash 3, yes, it has... Uh, Jump jumping seconds, seconds. Yeah, which is even more crazy it's even more crazy yeah but i love this because yeah. it's pure for it's me purely you know? digital yeah. exactly yeah, true, 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 true. i've well. always liked it and i'm so happy i finally managed managed to secure one so the collector sold it willingly willingly no mafia i didn't involved. force him i didn't force him no <laughs> mafia involved i swear i swear we're so, milana so. you know hey. who knows <laughs> don't share this video <laughs> awesome so what's next for you man like what do you want to do in terms of collecting or maybe the business or Man, you also have, have a nice YouTube channel, so check that out, guys. Thanks. You, yeah. you, you show some very special pieces like this here. So. Yeah, I try to, to describe pieces. Of course, it's a little bit different because mm. here we are in two, we are talking, interacting. Yeah. Yeah. When I'm alone, I have fun, but it's a bit more different. Uh, yeah. I, I prefer this kind of, uh, yes. you know? Yeah, me too. And uh, what's next? It's not easy. Uh, there are so many brands I would love to work with, uh, but Today, everybody seems to be short on stocks. Yeah, supply is and, a big problem. Uh, yeah, and in terms of collecting, I'm uh, I'm after uh, several watches. Uh, first of all, a Richard Mille RM12, mm. which I will never find at the right price. So uh, if <laughs> you, you will you ever have, want to give me one, I'm uh, I'm here. <laughs> uh, no, I have I have a lot in my in my list and <laughs> not enough budget for everything. But for sure, I would like to add uh, third Urwerk. Uh, I would like to add another MBNF, maybe a Grubel Forse. Too many influences uh, every day, <laughs> especially a, on maybe Instagram Smith, and stuff. Uh, Joe and, uh, hey, the fools are... Smith, I don't know. <laughs> Smith and the Fool, I don't know. It's too hard. Yeah. Kari Votilainen, we're working on a series with Kari, yeah. so the prototype will be ours. So, you know. <laughs> awesome, man. Listen, thank you so much, man, for welcoming oh, us pleasure, to your beautiful man. store Thanks here as well. Lot. I wish you all the best. And guys, as I said, check out the link in the description to support my friend here as well. He shows cool watches and also is a good character. So definitely show some love there. Thank you for watching. As always, like and subscribe. Thanks, man. And Thank you, guys. We'll see you next week. Ciao. Ciao. <laughs>